Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. For those of you who are new to my channel and for those who are returning, thank you so much for staying tuned. In today's video, I just wanted to give you a quick little home tour, show you what my house currently looks like after Christmas. Um, and I also wanted to share a few little things that I got from the Dollar Tree as well as Walmart and just things that I'll be doing some DIYs with and I'll talk about it some more as I show you each item. So I wanted to share with you guys um, my little entryway situation that I've got going on over here. I love how this turned out, you guys. I think down here, I might be adding a picnic basket that I got a few years ago from um, Goodwill and maybe adding some greenery on the inside of it. I'm not quite sure how to explain it to you. Um, but I'll definitely share that with you as soon as I do that. But anyways, this hen I've showed you, I think, in previous videos. And I've just had it for a while. It used to actually belong to my mom. And now it belongs to me. So it's a very special piece. It used to be very colorful. Like it had um, earthy colors. Like... Mm, I think it was like brick red and like those very rich orange tones and I think maybe blue or green and it just didn't go very well with my home decor and my style so I just went ahead and grabbed some chalk paint that I already had and just kind of gave it this more rustic look to it and it's not perfect the way I painted it but that's exactly what it, my intention was I just wanted it to look very chippy I guess or very rustic very shabby chic so that's what that looks like and then this is a new purchase from Hobby Lobby um, I'm gonna actually show you because most of what I styled this table with was from Hobby Lobby um, and I recently bought this everything that I got well, I actually, when I went in, everything was, uh, or the florals, or, yeah, florals, greenery, all that good stuff was 50% off. So, there's the original price. Like I said, it was 50% off. And then I remember that this little lantern, um, let me see if I can turn it. I don't know if it has the price. Mm, there it is. Yeah, guys, it was a pricey piece. However, I use the 40% coupon that they usually have in their website. So I basically paid almost half for that. So I think it was worth it because it's a substantial piece. It's pretty big. And then these, you guys, were my splurge. Again, these are from Hobby Lobby as well as the candle holders. Um, instead of putting candles, I decided to put these, what are these called? Topiary ball, uh, greeneries, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, these were definitely expensive, guys. Definitely splurge on these. Again, I used my 40% coupon on one of them. These were not 50% off. So I think I paid full price for the smaller one. And then let me show you the other one. This is the bigger one. This one was $35.99. So I paid, I used my 40% coupon. So there you go. You do the math. And again, like I said, I definitely splurged on these pieces. But again, you guys, when I saw them, I fell in love with them. I love the chippy look, the rustic 
look of these candle holders are just so, so cute. And I mean, for reference, here's my hand. You can see how big these candle holders are. So they're substantial, you guys. And these are things that I'm gonna have for years to come, if not forever, you know? I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of those anytime soon. So anyways, I think it was totally worth it. I got this little like suitcase situation from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just thought it was the perfect solution, you guys, to just hide our mail in there. Um, and this was, let's see, $34.99. Again, use that 40% coupon. And this is stuff that I didn't buy all in one fell swoop. I kind of went to Hobby Lobby a few times and purchase a thing at a time except for these two like I said they were a splurge I just I went to Hobby Lobby one day and they only had the larger size of this candle holder and they didn't have a smaller size so I looked around and looked around to see if I can find another one to match this one um to I just wanted one that at least looks similar to it and I couldn't find it so I passed it up that one time and then I went again to Hobby Lobby another day and they did have the smaller one so I was like okay I must get them both right now so again to me it was totally worth it I have a little candle right here that is like a cedar type of scent or pine say that I have still from Christmas and since it's still winter I thought you know it's an appropriate scent to have around your house this time of the year and then I've showed you this in previous videos I just kind of changed the greenery um, to kind of change the look that's just kind of what I do with all of my vases um, throughout the year I just changed the greenery or the florals to give it a different look and right now I don't have any floral florals per se um, because we are in winter and I just kind of wanted to stay true to the season all of these pigs I got um, I think this one was from the Dollar Tree and then this one here and this one here I got from Walmart. And those I believe were like the 97 cent um, greenery from Walmart. And this one, of course, Dollar Tree, $1. They still carry this. I just went to Walmart today and they still carry this in case you are interested. It's very cute. It looks like stoneware. You can see it's like all crackled. I love that look, you guys. I can't remember how much this was. Let's see if it has a price. Mm, no, it does not. If I find it on the website, on the Walmart website, I'll make sure to link that down below in case you are interested and you want to see how much it costs. But anyway, that's that for the entryway table. I still haven't gotten around to a painting the mirror frame. We'll see when that happens. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around to show you my dining room situation. Sorry about the mess over there, you guys. I still haven't like cleaned that up and styled it real nice. Um, that's probably something I'm, I'm gonna be working on either today or sometime this week. And again, my clock is still there so embarrassing you guys but I don't want to hang it until I actually paint the wall that I plan on putting that clock in and ignore the Merry Christmas sign I know I know I misspelled Christmas I'm sorry you guys but anyways moving on I still have my Christmas table runner um, that I got from Hobby Lobby I will uh, probably they probably don't have this anymore right now not even in their website since Christmas is done with but definitely if you're interested keep your eye out when that time comes again 
but I decided to leave it here since Valentine's is coming, you guys. And well, the colors are nice for Valentine's as well. I got these set of plates, you guys, from Walmart. I love them. I can't remember how much I paid for them, but if you are interested, I'll try to link them down below. I know they were definitely affordable. And I'm not the type of person that likes to have their table set like this, but I just, my kitchen is very small as you guys have seen in previous videos. And I still haven't gotten around to finishing that project. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, I will link that video down below where I show you the process of me um, updating our kitchen on a budget. And yeah, you guys, I haven't finished that yet. So I plan on putting some like pretty like shelves in our kitchen where these plates will be going. So until then, they're just here in the dining table and yeah it looks pretty but honestly it's just not convenient because anytime that we're gonna eat in the dining room we have to move them or you know it's a little bit annoying for me <laughs> and here is what the greenery looks like right now i got these stems from hobby lobby um Again, there's no floral, it's all just greenery, and I like it because it looks like the greens are just now starting to bud out, which is, again, I think appropriate for this time of the year, at least for where I live, because our winters are very mild. So I have noticed that in the garden, there's some things that are starting to bud up, some things that are starting to push a little bit of growth, and anyways, these are the same greens that I used for uh, my Christmas decor. Um, I just changed it. I changed up, I think I had berries in here mixed in with this. And so I just took the berries out and put the stems in. And this is one full um, pick. This is one full pick. This is just one pick and you guys you see how much how full it is i think the original price was 12.99 again it's more than i usually pay for florals or for greenery but i just wanted something substantial again this is something that i'm going to be having for years to come and so anyways they were 50 percent off so i paid about six bucks for each one of these picks. I am not very happy with how it looks with this greenery. So I did end up, I ended up going to Walmart to see what options they had for me to replace this greener, greenery with. I do wanna keep this pick, but I wanna do something different over here. I don't know, this might look okay. To some of you or you might actually like it and I don't hate it but I think it's because I had the same greenery for Christmas I think I'm just wanting some change I want a different look going on here so anyways that's what that looks like and I'm gonna be updating my chalkboard very soon probably today and if I do that today. I'll share that with you because I do have a little DIY for Valentine's. Um, I want to make a cute like hard garland to go over the, to hang over this chalkboard. And so I'll probably be doing that today. And if I do, I will make sure to share that with you. And that's pretty much all for the dining room as of right now. This is what it looks like. I really like how it came together. And again, I just have that down for Valentine's, you guys. As soon as Valentine's is over, I will um, change the table runner. Moving down to my living room, everything pretty much still looks the same. I still have my Christmas pillows um, out. 
And again, I'm leaving them out for Valentine's. I said, well, they're red, they work. So all I did was flip it. This is what it looks like for Christmas. But now it's Valentine's. So all I did was flip that and there you go. Reuse what you have, you guys. Reuse what you have. You can save tons of money that way. But anyways, it, that um, I got those pillows. They were a set of three. So it was the ticking stripes, the two of them, plus the candy cane one. And I got those for, I think they were like $25 for the three of them from Ross. So I'm not really sure that they will carry those again because you know it's Ross <laughs> um, but anyways I think they're like mm, 18 by 18 maybe they're pretty big I thought that was a really good price for three pillows and then up here still looks the same you guys are so many changes that are gonna be happening this year in this living room and I'm so excited now over here, I have some plants, you guys, that I'm so excited about. I am slowly becoming a crazy plant lady, you guys. I am, I think I haven't shared this with you before, or maybe I have, but I absolutely love gardening. That's something that I've loved for years, but I really didn't tackle that until last year. I just started my garden last year which i will be showing you that as we get closer to spring um but anyways probably this month i'll have to go outside and just kind of clean up the flower bed and get it ready for march which is when i'm gonna probably start planting some things out there so i'll be sharing that video with you guys very shortly um but anyways i just recently started getting into house plants i've always been you know interested in them and i always looked at them whenever i went to the garden centers but i was just so scared you guys that i wasn't going to have a green thumb and that i was just going to kill these plants so i just kind of walked away from them all right sorry about that you guys as i was saying um well my phone's battery was low and so I couldn't record and so anyways as I was saying I was afraid of buying house plants and I just kind of walked away from them because I thought I was just gonna kill them but I kind of tested my green thumb I should say last year when I started my garden and I don't know you guys I I'm very proud of myself. I did so well with my garden outside. Everything thrived. And so I said to myself, hey, I think I can do this. So let me go ahead and just kind of try it out and see how it goes. So I went a little bit plant crazy and kind of bought a few plants kind of all at once. Um, well, you know, for someone who hasn't tried out house plants before, maybe I should have stopped at one and tried my luck with just that one. But again, you guys, I just love plants and I started looking at plants and I just fell in love with a few. And so I decided to just buy the ones that I kind of had on my wish list. So anyways, this is a Golden Pothos. Um, got that from Walmart. This is a snake plant, also from Walmart. And if you guys are interested in these little baskets that I put them in, I got those from Amazon and I can link that down below. Um, let's see, I'm gonna take it out of the basket real quick. Ooh, it's heavy. I don't know if I can. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Bear with me. Ooh. Ooh. These are heavy. Maybe I should have taken the other one out because it's a little bit lighter. Ooh. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Ooh. I didn't know it was that heavy. Um. Anyways, here it is. 
it's a 1.7 gallon or a 10 inch. I don't know how you say that sounds severia, I think. It's an indoor plant. And it was like $16, a little bit over $16 at Walmart. And this is what the basket looks like. This is the larger basket and this one's just like slightly smaller. But it comes with this, um, what is this called you guys? Um, why can't I think of it right now? Anyways, this protects your basket from it getting damaged by the water in your plants. So you just put that back in like that and i'm actually gonna leave that plant right there and put it back later because uh, it's a little bit too heavy for me to just carry with one hand so anyway same thing with this it's just sitting in there um and i just left them in their nursery pot like that and the golden pothos i think i paid like 14 or 14.99 for it so i thought it was a bit a pretty good price for the size of it oh so, yeah that's that for these two plants right here and yeah i'm just really excited to take care of them and watch them grow and now coming over here i want to share with you one last plant like i said i went a little bit plant crazy and I got this is um, a red dragon. Let me see, Dracaena Marge, I think is what it's called. Uh, there you go. And this plant, I paid like five or six dollars for it at Walmart as well. And this plant, you guys, is actually a tree. So that in few years from now or however many years it takes it to grow is actually going to be a very big tree. I think they said when I googled it that it grows indoors to about six feet or so but I imagine if you leave it outside it would probably get even bigger. I think I saw that it could get to up to 10 feet. So yeah. That is crazy when you see these baby plants. Like I saw it thinking I was gonna stay little like that, but no, I actually ended up buying a tree, you guys. And um, again, left it in its nursery pot and just kind of stuck it inside this planter, which is so cute. I got it today from Walmart and I paid like $7.49, I think, for it. So just under $8 for it. And I think it's the Better Homes and Gardens brand. There you go. And it does have the option to have a drainage hole if you want, but I'm just using it as a, um, what's it called? Like a catch? I don't know. I can't remember the name of it, but anyways, I don't have to worry about raining any of my furniture because it does have the plug-in. And then you guys, you've seen this before in previous home tours. I just had this over my fridge and I decided to just get some pretty flowers. These are, they look, I mean, I know they, they're hydrangeas, but I don't know what kind. They remind me of limelight, but limelight hydrangeas don't have like this shape. So I don't know, maybe it's like the incredible maybe hydrangea. But you guys, I love hydrangeas. I actually planted two limelight hydrangeas outside last year. And I plan on getting two or three more of them because I would like to form like a little hedge with them. But anyways, moving on. I got the Cozy White Cottage book, you guys. I love that book, you guys. If you're into shabby chic, um farmhouse, cottage style homes, very rustic homes, then I really recommend you get that book. I've already kind of read through it and looked through the pictures at least three times already through the entire book, you guys. That's how much I love it. So anyways, I recommend that book for sure. I got mine from Amazon. 
can link that down below if you're interested. Then my little wax warmer that I've had for years and also this little basket tray I've had for years and that's that and I don't think I've shared this with you guys yet. This is my little fireplace. It's an electric fireplace that I got from Facebook Marketplace. And believe it or not, I paid $120 for this fireplace, you guys. I think whew, it was an amazing price because I was looking for something like this. And the prices that I saw were kind of a little bit up there, like $500, $600. And I was like, nope, I'm just going to wait and see if I find one one day. So anyways, I did, and so I'm so happy with it. That's not where it's gonna stay. I'm gonna eventually move it to um, the living room, but that's just kind of where it lives right now until we tackle that project. But that's what that looks like. And anyways, moving on. Like I said, I have not finished the remodeling my kitchen, so. Anyways, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> That's just how it is for now. And today I went shopping at Walmart, so I just wanted to go ahead and share a few things. And I also went to the Dollar Tree, which is right next to our Walmart Supercenter, which is so practical because I love both stores. So I went into Walmart and got these garden gloves because mine were beat up from all the gardening I did last year. So I needed some new ones. I picked paid ten dollars for them they look like they're really great um i think hopefully they will last a little longer than the other ones i got what is this called floral wire because i plan on doing um some valentine diys and i'm gonna be using this as well as this pretty ribbon that I got from Walmart. This ribbon was um, just under $3. The floral wire was just under $2. The burlap, um, this is quite a bit of burlap and I don't even think I'm gonna end up using all of it, but again, I'll probably use it for other projects. But this whole thing was only, um, it was just under $5, which is amazing, amazing, amazing. And then, you guys, I got a bunch of this, these greenery picks. These are all boxwood picks that were 97 cents from Walmart. You can see it's the mainstay um, brand, but they're such good quality, you guys. And I can use this in so many different floral arrangements. Of course you have to spread it out and fluff it out but amazing quality so if you're looking for greenery check out walmart for sure 97 cents so i got nine of those and i do like to buy like um odd number of things i don't tend to buy even numbers so i just got nine of those that that's what i i think i'm going to use these to change up um the floral arrangements that I have going on or the greenery arrangements that I got going on at the dining table. And then I only got one of these eucalyptus picks. Ugh, there we go. Also 97 cents from Walmart. And the reason I only got one is because I already have two here that I got a few years ago. And like I said, I like to buy things in odd numbers. Um, so I was definitely just missing one of those. So I'm glad I found it. And funny thing, it was the only one that was there because I looked and looked and looked and they only had this one. So I just, I'm glad it worked out. So that's everything that I got from Walmart today. Now moving on to the Dollar Tree. Oh, you can see a theme going on. So I went ahead and got a bunch of Valentine, um, different little things so that I can do some DIYs with them. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm, I am a teacher assistant, so I caught a bunch of little different things that I can take to school and do some different little crafts with the kids. So all of this I plan on taking to school. And then in my 
son was with me and I told him to go ahead and just pick out his little Valentine cards to give out in his classroom and that's what he picked. They had a bunch of other characters but I thought it was pretty good. Just one dollar for 32 Valentines which is perfect. You have some leftover ones because I think there's like 22 kids in his classroom. So that worked out. This of course, I saw them and I thought they were so cute. The little patterns. Ugh, so cute. Love them. Also from Dollar Tree. Three piece. And those are, you know, I just decided to get them because, hey, perfect for little gifts to give out during Valentine's. And I also got this wire form and I plan on doing a DIY wreath for Valentine's um, and also these heart paper doilies that I plan on using for a DIY as well. And you guys they already have St. Patrick's Day stuff out and my son decided he liked this one and so i said okay go ahead let's just go ahead and get it because probably by the time saint patrick's is here all the saint patrick's stuff will be sold they'll all be picked over or even gone so i just went ahead and picked that up and that's something that he's going to use in his room i don't really decorate my house for saint patrick's i don't really decorate my house for a whole lot of holidays to be honest this is my first time kind of putting a little touch of Valentine's in the in our house because I don't tend to decorate for anything other than um, Christmas, of course, Halloween, and fall. Those are the only things I tend to decorate my house for. But I saw these things at Dollar Tree and I couldn't pass them up. So, you know, they're just a dollar. Why not? So I'll share that with you once I start on those DIYs, make a video and share it with you all. Hopefully you will be inspired. I actually grabbed these ideas from other YouTubers, so I'm excited to try them out. And I just went ahead and got these from the Dollar Tree. They're a pack of two, I believe. Um, where does it say? Oh, it's actually one pair, sorry one pair but they're only a dollar so I went ahead and grabbed two of them which I'm already using a pair and it's always good to have an extra in care in case you know one of them tear which always happens so anyways I have backup and then I got some more garden stuff I grabbed one of these which these are so handy to have because you're on your knees a lot when you're doing some gardening and yard work so that's nice thick pad right there and then I got some flexible tie for possibly my tomatoes that I plan on growing and then also some plant labels you guys I love the Dollar Tree I can't believe how much how like many amazing things they carry to be honest for just a dollar and then I also got some seeds um, I probably will be going again sometime soon and I'll grab some more because they're again I think there's like two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree so I keep my awesome. seeds up here you guys so that I don't lose them um I grabbed some from Walmart as well which I think they were here let me put them over here um, they were, oh, the price is right there. So they are under $2, which is still a pretty good price. But like I said, it cannot be the price of the Dollar Tree. But I went ahead and grabbed some more cilantro because that's just something that I use a lot of. And then I grabbed two zucchini. And I grab, I grabbed two corn. And I grabbed three, sorry, sorry about the shadows, you guys, but I grabbed uh, three of the Roma tomatoes, which are my favorite tomatoes to cook with. So yeah, you guys, that's everything that I grabbed today. So I just wanted to share that little haul with you guys. 
Um, like I said, please stay tuned. My next video will be doing some little Valentine DIYs and showing you how I dick I style my home with them how i decorate with them so please stay tuned for that and i know you guys that i was away for some time but i was having some copyright issues that i needed to fix before i was able to move on and share mo more videos with you guys so i'm sorry about that but everything is clear now <laughs> and so I just can't wait to continue sharing some more videos and hopefully I am able to inspire you to decorate your home beautifully and on a budget. So you guys, I'll see you soon and until next time. Bye-bye.